Hello guys, so today we'll be talking about, you know, um, these sales. So of course, Backfire is coming along, and of course many movies are getting sales. <coughs> Just this week it's four bucks, but it was four bucks last time, so if you still want this movie, you know. It was actually like six bucks, seven bucks last time, now it's four. That was born. But that's only four bucks. Better if you Superman, what a waste of money that is. You're still throwing money in your like, fire, and you know. There's John Wick. If you really want to post John Wick, if you haven't seen it, I don't have it already. It's already four bucks this movie. No one's gonna, no one's gonna buy that movie. It's be like books, my be a movie that you know no one's gonna buy. You know, on Blu-ray, okay? No one's gonna buy that movie, okay? Aquaman. If you really want to buy Aquaman, Aquaman has been doing really well on you know Blu-ray and DVD. Same thing with Bumblebee, but Aquaman had way better wigs than Bumblebee, and of course even missing passports as well. So. <clears throat> of course, some of these are just extremely good deals, but then some of these are just like sad, you know, you know, that's depressing. Wonder Woman, I got that, you know, I, we, the best buy here were basically, you know, handing out the movies because they want to get rid of them, so, for like one buck, <laughs> you know, um, the mag, you know, like crazy crazy, they came out on Black Friday last year, and we go to 4K, um, it's just a bunch of 4K, and some cheaper movies, Ghost in the Self, surprised they don't want to buy out in 4K, but, you know, that's some people's opinions. Then we have here you know, 8,000, so some of course some movies that came out, you know, around um, earlier this year, so Spider-Verse, Zam, John Wick. It's only, it's only 8 bucks. I guess they want to make it where it's cheap to get the first movie, because the, the movies are already selling out, so they probably gotta sell like instantly. Oh, here's, the, here's one of the movies that no one is buying, it's Us. Okay, I won't be surprised if people would buy this movie on Black Friday, but no one is buying, no one bought this movie on Blu-ray, no one's gonna buy it on DVD, okay, you know, the fact that they had to put out 8,000 of all these other movies is just proof that no one's gonna buy that movie, okay. Us is another one of those movies, because of all of them, another movie, they completely just sit down on sales, because no one wants it, I won't be surprised if they only they won't convince like 5 people to go buy the Curse of all of okay. <clears throat> and then we have, you know, 4K, here basically, you know, Jumanji, Zombieland. Always ten dollars for the four K version. Waste the money. The crime of the Grin World. That that yeah. The crime of the Grin World is you know. And of course you know that's the Disney Disney logo movies. Of course Disney wants to keep the movies as high as price as possible. Okay, you know, but the Fantastic Cream right right Grin World is only eight bucks because the movie don't want. And we was actually doing okay, actually, at the park at, as well, so, um, Jurassic World, um, some other movies, that, uh, some 4K movies, Sicario, The Air Soldado, surprise people want to buy that, that's a more smaller movie, that's a big 4K, and then, of course, the $10 movies, okay, so we have Alita, that's the first movie, of course, Alita is the first movie, obviously, guys, so, the movie that you sell the most about copies, out of all these movies, probably, then we can have these two movies that no one wants to buy. One won't be not surprised they're here, okay? Man, back in the so you see copies like saying on sale. Same thing with Doc Phoenix. If, every, if you go to literally any store and go by the Blu ray section, it's a pretty sad sight to see this movie. It's a pretty sad sight, you know. No one wants this movie because it's trash and garbage, okay? So no one is buying it. You know, no one likes Zing Gray, okay? And we both movie too, that's already 10 bucks. I don't think anyone is willing to buy that movie for, you know, 25 bucks for the Angry Bird movie. You, you gotta be kidding me. No one's gonna buy a movie for 25 bucks that isn't, you know, an uh, animated movie for 25 bucks. Okay, unless it has Disney's logo on it, of course. You know, Disney's logo kind of saved some movies. My other movie that no one's gonna watch because it's, you know, horror movie. Okay, horror movies don't sell on Blu ray because people just wait for them to come out on Netflix or Amazon or Disney Plus. No, they're not coming to Disney Plus, but. They won't come on Disney Park because Disney hates R-rated movies. And here's a movie that's already on sale. Booksmart. No one's going to buy this either. Because nobody wants Booksmart. This is a movie <clears throat> that wherever you go, you see copies saying on the shelves. Because no one is going to buy this movie, okay? No one is going to buy this movie, okay? You know. And of course, we have all more of the 4Ks here. Um, that's a bunch of 4Ks. This is part for the entire collection on 4K. The entire collection. Buy the entire collection, Miss Impossible. All of the movies for 13 bucks. That's, you know, if you want to catch up on your Miss Impossible's, you can go buy that, you know. 
both these bucks for literally every single movie in the entire franchise. Oh, we have the Grinch, the Lion King remake. Yes, the Lion King remake is for 14 bucks for the DVD. You know, it's like foreign money and, you know, a buy okay? And, of course, you have all the movies of Disney's logo on it, okay? It has Disney's logo, so, of course, they have to be expensive, okay? It has Disney's logo. Of course, it's reasonable. Of course, you have Endgame on 4K. You have some other movies. Um, and then they have an advertisement down here, 8 bucks for, you know, a waste of money, Endgame, and, well, face the internet. And there's, of course, some other movies for 4 bucks here. Um, you know, some other new releases here. Um, 4K Steelbook pre-orders. Um, here as well. Um, <coughs> Captain Marvel is eight bucks. I don't know who I don't know who in the white right mind will still waste the money on Captain Marvel. Okay, you just pour your money down the toilet. That's what you're doing, okay? You're pouring your money down the toilet and it'll never come back because Captain Marvel is nothing but a waste of money. Okay, you know the last Jedi was another movie that you know no one's gonna buy on Black Friday because no one likes this movie either. Okay, I felt like two people are going to buy on Black Friday because it's always just be on Star Wars and oh I missed on the last Jedi. You know I have to buy before you know. the well, you know, when the new Star Wars movie comes out, you know, those types of people. <clears throat> of course, you have the re-releases of the Marvel movies of the, you know, the generic boring ass covers here, okay? You have those versions as well. And you have Deadpool 1 and 2. That's actually two movies, so, if Deadpool has an advantage over that. But Deadpool 1 and 2 is, you know, 22 bucks more expensive than boring Captain Marvel. Um... But missing possible collection, you know, if you really want to buy the missing possible collection, you can buy it. Elf is buy six bucks. That's an old movie. I'm not really gonna rant on old movies for being for being on sale. Cause they're old movies. You get, if you want to buy them, if you don't have them, you can just go buy them. It's just pretty easy to get them. Super Troopers too. That was already four bucks last year. So, you know, they figured we'd spell another movie that no one's gonna buy because you know, no one liked the Tonic Blonde. You know, no one like, you know, any other movie like Atomic Bond, because those movies completely just don't make money, okay? You know, Death Wish, uh, that's on, you know, um, Death Pop because of the S.A.W. saying, oh, you know, it's about, you know, guns and, you know, uh, it's racist, you know. <clears throat> and, you know, they have the S.A.W. saying, you know, how evil this movie is, Death Wish, okay? So, and of course, there's some good movies you can buy, Venom. It's eight bucks. That's way better than you know us. So, um, Godzilla, Shazam, um, Detective Pikachu. All of, like the actual best-selling movies are here. Okay, no one's gonna click over here and say and see. Oh yeah, us. What are you know masterpiece are going to like two going to the critics, but no one's gonna buy it because you know no one wants that movie. Okay, the movie that continues to on sales. Um, How to Train Dragon, Jurassic World. Out here as well for eight, <laughs> eight as well. So. And, oh, you can buy the, another terrible movie, The Shape of Water. Why does that movie get Best Picture? Beyond me, it's like, you know, oh, yeah, The Shape of Water. You know, it's about, it's about you know, bestiality. 10 out of 10 by us critics, okay? You know, that's, you know, basically the critics, you know, logic there, okay? You know, you know, they always say, oh, bestiality is so wrong. But then you give um, The Shape of Water a 10 out of 10, okay? You know. This is just how dumb the critics are, okay, you know, that's why no one trusts them these days, okay, you know, and that's basically it, goodbye.